Hey, Ethan, back again with AUC Gaming, live streaming Destiny 2 again. Um, so I got my Warlock. I got all three of my Titans set up with uh, loadouts now um, for each subclass. Um, I still need to actually get all of the... Uh, um, aspects and fragments for each subclass for each character except for the warlock I think I already got all of them for the warlock but I'm gonna continue to play the warlock I am a warlock main and uh, I currently am trying to get certain things done so uh, the final shape I was tracking for when me and Cindy play. I've been playing it with Cindy. Um, not live streaming it. Actually, let's see. Who's on? Captain Howie and Crimson Lotus. Well, anyways. Um, so I've been doing the Rising Chorus Act 1 during these live streams. Um, uh, so we'll go with that one. So for each of the characters, I've come up with some kind of a change in looks for each loadout. Um, this one uses the, uh, rot tithes or something like that. Um, look. Uh, hex rot. Uh, 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 ornaments. Um... Uh, this one uh, uses, I forget what it's called, the Scaldic Chant. Uh, for the other two, though, I use the uh, sun, Sunlit, um, just because uh, I use the Scaldic ones on this armor set because of the, uh, the exotic. It looks like it kind of matches a bit, seeing as the character has wings. Um, but the, the gloves ha have wings, and the boots have uh, little tiny wings near the bottom. So, to me personally, it just makes it actually match. And then for the. Uh, Void, I used the uh, uh, Celestial, or it's not Celestial, it's uh, I forget what it's called. The, the, uh, Fudge. Yeah, Celestial. So I was right. Uh, I used the Celestial. And then for Arc, I used the uh, Aqua ones that we got in the two seasons before. For, uh, for Stasis, I used the... Uh, uh, I think they're called Kunis. Oh, Kitsune. Uh, painted Kitsune. Um, ornaments. With the uh, Karnstein armlets. Uh, melee kills restore health for a short duration. Um, and then for uh, Prismatic, 
I used the uh, the ones for this uh, season actually. So the chroma cloak or chroma ones. Oh, it's athotic. Uh, Lamellar or La Mayer, something like that. Anyways, but I did that for all of the Warlocks, or uh, for all three Guardians, except for Stasis. I didn't use uh, Kitsune because they don't have Kitsune for the uh, uh, Hunter and Titan, but I did use a different set. So that I think actually matched more. But anyways, uh, we'll get this underway and continue. Um, so, so for that, I gotta track down Saint 14 beneath the crust of Nessus. That's for using fusion rifles and linear fusion rifles. What do I have marked that's going to send me to... Oh, well. Anyways, um, I'm a little confused on why I'm supposed to be going to the helm. Because nothing's even flashing at me. So, whatever. Anyways, we'll go to Nessus. And I gotta go to Mission Mesmerize. Wait. I have reached the power cap, actually. So, launch. Does that mean it locked my stuff? I hope not. Anywho... We, uh, yeah, um, I've been trying to get, get caught up on videos and stuff. It's been really hard. I know I wasn't able to live stream yesterday because of work, um, and today's the 4th, so I don't know how many people are actually going to get on. Uh, my little stat here says that there's 203 viewers, but it also says that that was at 4 seconds in um it doesn't update regularly like it probably should uh, let's see mobile dashboard it says 203 viewers also Thank you for looking into this guardian it's unlike say to go away wall i left Osiris in the helm Against his objections. Anywho. Nessus is undergoing a rapid metamorphosis. And until we understand the nature of its evolution, I'm not risking any lightless personnel. Guardian, I'm concerned. Saint is one of the Vex's oldest enemies. Him esteem, that makes sense. If they capture him, it won't be to kill him. They'll go deeper than that. Let's hope it's nothing. Wow. 1.3k followers. Good luck. It's a lot of followers. I didn't expect so many followers. Alrighty. Laria has been drained from this basin. There's no evidence of a fight. Did the Vex just let him pass? The Saint unit may have entered peacefully, but it appears the captain will meet violent resistance. Holy cow. Well. Okay, maybe I should uh, switch to uh, strand loadout.
still trying to work on getting the uh, the swarmers for this loadout. Son of a beehive. Oh, this sucks. Well, that's why I'm only just over the power cap. go now that's dead Son of a beehive! That thing kills me way too easily. Alrighty. That's doing better. No. Oh, hello. Okay, I think I'm going to switch this to... Ah! Okay. Move a little further away. Probably not the best place to try and switch weapons, but we're going to switch to uh, the call. I love this thing. Especially with... Uh... Oh, where is it? Um, su uh, subsistence. Defeating targets partially reloads the magazine from reserves. And then dealer's choice. Final blows with this weapon. Grant a small amount of super energy. Equipping uh, multiple weapons from the Pale Heart increases this effect. Unfortunately, now it's out of ammo because I didn't have it equipped ahead of time. Guardian, the vets are peeling back, retreating under suppressing fire. Those are infantry tactics we normally see from the Cabal of Fallen. Or Guardians. Something in their strategic doctrine must have changed.
I love the call. Especially with subsistence. There we go. Now what was over here? Oh, a tangle. Holy cow. Whoops. Well, at least it took me a little while to die. Yep, love the call. With subsistence. Fudge. Another one of those stupid things. It might have got a no. There we go. Dang it! I should have just sat there for a minute. Alrighty. Dang it! Come on now! Like one hit kill? This is BS. Alrighty. The Saint Unit's transmission is originating from behind that barrier. Get us in there, fail safe. Whatever it takes. I can bypass security with the data we collected from across Nessus. But the Vax will be absolutely homicidal about it. Please keep them back while I work.
now. No special ammo. That sucks. Oh, there's some. Oh, I was supposed to stand in this little red circle. Do I still need to stand in the middle of this thing? What? Oh, that's BS. Now I gotta restart this. Ah. Orbs of power.
yeah, that's right. If I kill something with a strand weapon, I get threadlings. Orb of power, orb of power, orb of power. To this. No. That was BS. Lost my freaking anchor because I ran into a wall instead of actually going where I needed to go. <sighs> so there's two. Holy cow. I know, not supposed to go through that stuff, but it was for ammo, so.
crap, a cow. Oh, they would have just disappeared then. Oh, I messed that one up, but anyways. Can you hear me? <clears throat> Osiris. 
Oh, you're welcome. So, lost signal, kinetic weapon, and I got a uh, engram for uh, failsafe. launcher. I guess I'll hold on to it for now. Um, so quest meet with the rescued Saint 14 in the helm. Actually I need to go to destinations to go to the tower so that I can get more bounties. Taking a little while to load. Oh, I forgot to look at this stuff. Uh, dang it. Tangled web robes. higher so we'll hold on to him not higher though and not higher 19 feet. oh yeah a little higher oh actually I need to go over here though first because that was flashing at me earlier oh yay Strand of Meditation. What am I up to now on that 21? Okay. I need bounties. So... Sidearm. Clave. Sword. Solar weapons and a random sniper rifle calibration. See if I have a uh, engram. Nope, no engrams. So, if you got a focused decoding, then you go over here. The ones that are showing are the ones that you can actually get because you've already unlocked them. 
or the ones that are lit up. Um, right now I don't have any exotic amgram so it won't light, light it up anyways. But uh, after you get him maxed out on his rank, which I think is at 17, um, whenever you go to this and you go over, there will be another page and all of them will be lit up for you to be able to unlock even if you haven't gotten them in the past. So like this Stylos uh, Stixis, I haven't gotten, but uh, it's Arcane Needle Causes Suspending Detonation. Oh, that's actually really cool. But the one that I really want is these, the Swarmers. Threadling spawn from tangles and unravel targets. Improves trace rifles, improves duration, dra damage, and durability, avoid souls. That actually wouldn't be a bad idea to get for void. Uh, Winter's Wrath Shockwave deals extra damage and buffs allies. I don't think I've had that one. Fallen Sunstar, uh, improved ionic traces. <coughs> but anyways, um, if I did have an exotic engram though, um, these ones that I have gotten, all of these ones over here, and I think all of these ones over here, they would all be uh, lit up so that I could get them again. Embers of Light. Daybreak Final Blows create a healing and empowering rift at the target's location. While a Solar Super is equipped, Solar Weapons Final Blows uh, grant rift energy. Uh, standing in a rift increases this energy. Final Blows while in a rift uh, consume class ability energy to create a healing and empowering rift at the target's location. That does not sound all that good actually. But anyways, um like I said, it would um on this page if you have an exotic engram, the ones that you have already unlocked or already gotten before, you can get again. Well, whenever you max out his rank uh, there's a third page and then all of them are lit up when you have an exotic engram so you can get any of them even the ones that you haven't unlocked like the swarmers like I really want to get it says unlock this item to uh, in collections to purchase so I haven't gotten the sun braces or boots of assembler Osmio Mancy gloves. Cold snap grenades have an additional charge, recharge faster on impact, and have increased secret travel distance. Uh, second, uh, filaments. While well, using a void super, your empowering rifts grant you devour damage dealt from within them will disrupt combatants. Might have to figure out how to get more ascendant shards. Nope. Okay. So I got all of those bounties. Which are. So in a single live calibrate sniper rifles against any target. Uh, to have 15 kills with an uh, sniper rifle or with a, so a sniper rifle calibrate solar weapons again uh, against any target earn bonus progress using power weapons and against opposing guardians uh, calibrate swords against any target opposing guardians and rapidly defeating targets grants the most efficient progress uh, glaive calibration against any target, rapidly defeating targets and defeating guardians grants additional progress. And calibrate sidearms against any target, earn bonus progress against targets at close range and opposing guardians. 
So, I currently have this one on, uh, which is a sidearm. This one does solar weapon damage. And uh, the only thing that I can think of is switching this to uh, Ill Omen. But I want to keep uh, the machine gun since it does strand damage. Uh, we'll do falling guillotine and that way I will still get uh, sword damage. And it will upgrade my weapon. So yeah. Trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. That's right. Go to the helm. The helm, the helm, the helm. Actually, seasons pass. The next one unlocks in 11 days. Is that why I haven't gone up any ranks? Because it's locked until... I think that might be what it is. It's locked until the next act opens and then I'll be able to uh, be able to uh, continue getting ranks on the season. Launch! Sorry about the cough, guys. Sure. So my what do you mean? They said we are alive, Osiris. The real thing for team was not So my melee weapon or ability is charging. And so is my super, but not Same. my grenade or rift. You chose me because your saint is dead. Preposterous. Almost like a simulation. No. You're the man who did the fall. You're the serial. 
in the corridors of time. I only peered into timelines that mirrored our own. I didn't want to pull you away from a happy life or change you. I wanted to rescue you. To me, your explosive is mathematically possible. Yeah. Say it. This doesn't change anything. It's a tactic. Hmm. You feel real to me. I wish I could hide my weapon right now. We know you. And you know us. You're right where you belong. You. Displacement rings in my head. That voice. I hear it still. I would like to be alone. I alone, please. Too bad. We're not gonna let you. Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. Yes. I know it's useless to tell you not to worry. But try. I'll look into this. Okay. Discuss Saint 14's ordeal with failsafe in the helm. Hey, Captain. Is Saint Unit okay? It sounded like that voice. He called it the conductor. That's some stuff that really got to him. I never thought I'd see him shaken up like that. He's always so strong. I figured if something bothered him, he'd laugh it off. But I'm sure he'll be fine. He's surrounded by people who care about him. You, Osiris, Ikora, and the whole vanguard. Super bubbly. No one can stay sad when they're surrounded by that much support. I assume. I'll continue processing all the samples you've extracted from Nessus. Now that the conductor has harmed Satan, I have disabled my compassion protocol. We will locate compassion it, protocol? We will make it <laughs> she says that so excitedly. Oh, hey, I got another engram. And another engram. Ooh, and that one was, uh, already acquired hammer charges five special crafted hammer compatible, uh, capable of activating one of the planetary pistons on Nessus, which, uh, watch your toes. Huh. And then we'll acquire bounties, I guess, from Failsafe. So now we have this weapon, which is a rocket launcher called Faith Keeper. can give it uh, slightly increases the range at which radar detects enemies this weapon gains better target acquisition Radar immediately returns when you stop aiming down sights. Moderately increases airborne effectiveness. Increases accuracy at ready, ready speed while firing from the hip. And reduces recoil deviation. Not, no it doesn't. That says that it's 81 out of 81. I 
think I'll go with uh, radar tuner. Alrighty, and then that gives a handling upgrade. 44, so it only does one point. And it does void damage. Well, let's see here. Our blows with this weapon generate class ability energy activation, or activating your class ability briefly improves the weapon's stability. Uh, kills with this weapon generate grenade energy, activating your grenade ability reloads to this weapon's front reserve. And rapid final blows cause targets to explode into a pool of radiolarian fluid. That will lower reload speed to increase the velocity and stability. And that will lower blast radius and stability to raise velocity. I don't think so. Um, no, I don't think I'm going to keep it. Too bad I can't give it to Fallen Guillotine, but I'm pretty sure... I don't have any nope, no upgrade modules no enhancement prisms so I can't even do that what was that oh I got a uh... just birdie you just followed well, thank you. Um, anyways. I read your theories about Nessus. I share your concerns. We're gonna get rid of that. More so than when the Vex first assimilated it. They bred war. I need to have that sooner or later, I think. The data and the radio laria we've collected is mutated. Not a past iteration sweeping over the present Vex. Actually, we can do that. As if they've always been that way. And that way I can They are have. now adapting in real time. It has to be the impact anomaly. But Geppetto it's how it... ...to map the radio Larry as well as well safe. He's down there. For the sword. swirling around the impact site for miles below the surface. It's causing disturbances in the planet's EM field of Cyrus. The Vex are doing something big. A test. One that will cost them greatly. Is he... Do you need anything? I appreciate your support, but... Oh, it's a scout. Why do I see the shot Say down spoke there? of a singular voice directing it. A conductor, not a collector. Subterfuge and manipulation are not how the Vex operate. Actually, we can go with the same They are kind of, but blunt in their confidence. You think this test belies a deeper truth? They go less... Yeah, we'll Around call it, one just point. use the sidearm, and then we'll change to the sniper rifle afterwards. It is my fear as well. I doubt their motives are benign. Yeah. We will meet them in kind. Oh, now I can activate this. Oh, wait, no, that's for deep sight harmonization. I was thinking that it was like the, uh, like this one. Or you can use that. Twice to increase this weapon's uh, level replayed applications are allowed. Higher weapon levels are uh, have a greater accuracy cost. Cost. Oh. No. 
empty weapon level boost socket. Memento socket. I don't have a memento. I should have really held on to that one that I did have. That was, I think, an Awoken uh, memento. But I didn't hold on to it like I should have. I, I think I ended up dismantling it or some BS. But, anywho. Oh, I still need to get that weapon from my... Uh, post box. Another one. Um, yeah, I'm not going to hold on to that. I got an enhancement core and a thousand glimmer. So, quests, episode, and. So. <laughs> So we have uh, defeat powerful fallen in episode echoes act activities are or across Nessus. So defeat fallen, defeat combatants with void damage anywhere in the system, defeat combatants with auto rifles or machine guns anywhere in the system, defeat fallen anywhere in the system, and open uh, echo chests in episode echoes activities. So in that case, I'm going to switch this to Perpetualis. And then I gotta go to the store to use my Eververse Engram. Wait, what? Let's see. Oh, that's kind of cool. S'mores. Trailing pyrotechnics. Okay. Uh, celebrate newness. Oh, it's a transmat effect. Riven projection. I'm alright. Oh, there's another projection. All together now. Anyways. Um, so now we can go... Because I'm already at the helm. Oh, I gotta click on that quest again. Act 1 complete. Ikora will contact you when Act 2 begins. Crap. Because that means that I, I can't start it until uh, Act 2 unlocks in 11 days. I can try for that one eventually, but for now... So, don't do that one, or that one. Search for strand, inoculated gadgets, and veil con containment in Yomuna. Return to the relic in the enclave on Mars. Oh, well, I can do that real quick. Uh, Mars. There's the moon. There's Nessus. There's Eternity. Dreaming City. Neptune. Europa's. Uh, Savathon's. Throne World. On Mars. 
Do they mean Nessus? They must not mean Nessus. I don't think it's the Dreaming City. Oh, what am I thinking? Duh. Wait, what? Location of this quest is highlighted on your map. Die, Ant. No, it's not, because it's not on my, on my map. It's on, it would be under destinations, but I don't see... I don't see the Enclave. Is it on Europa? on the Almuna. Parting the Veil. Weekly Mission. Cyrus's Interlude. Maelstrom. Partition Back Door. Headlong Time Trial. Well, crud. Eternity? There's Treasure Horde, Dares of Eternity, Grasp of Avarice. Thought I had already figured this out where the Enclave was. Unless Mars is currently hidden, because we're not actually able to go to it right now. Because I don't think it's in the Dreaming City. Awakening to Dreaming City. The gates of hell are open to it. Mm. Last wish. Well, crud. <laughs> also, it has found that the incubator specimen contains uh, remnants of both radiolite and base radial area. Uh, she requires more ambient data from the interactions with Vex. Uh, secure extracted data from spail safe and the breach. I'm already in the helm. Not on this destination. But it says it is on this destination. Oh my god. Oh, that's why. So we have to go to Arena Breach ex Executable.
idea. Oh, real quick. Dang it! I died before I could go and help him. God dang it! I know, I charged in there like an idiot, like I shouldn't have, but anyways. Oh. Oh, there was a C location. Whoops. Oh.
Dang it. Switch back to the call.
That's as much data as we have capacity for. Time to leave, Guardian. I hate to see you go, but I'd also hate to watch the Vex trap you in a time box forever. Dang it. God dang it. Well, crud. Now I gotta wait for my thing to <laughs> charge up my uh, anchor. Because I don't know how else to get up there. God dang it. <clears throat> Trying to go faster and it didn't freaking work. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. I still need to go through that. Right. That's what it was. Dang it! I didn't kill it soon enough! How is it that nobody else knows that? Ah, he just took away my super.
dang it, I was trying to bring that one back. Ah, he got me. No. God dang it. So we have that. Why not? I don't I am at a loss. like. I really don't like that. How so. Do you someone? They are who they've always felt themselves to be. How do I show him? All my memories are only of him, not some other us. Uh, maybe just say that. Would only listen. Only an air fusion rifle. They, those you advise. Don't really care for a land air fusion rifle. What became of them? They're all happily buried together. Some not far from here. Turn to orbit. Uh, I think I have to go and do some stuff on the helm. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, we got this one and this one. And then I furthered. This one, so now I need to speak to Failsafe in the helm to review her final specimen analysis report. We got a helmet, that's 47. Now, unfortunately, this Chaos of Glory, or Echoes of Glory, uh, grants 5% additional Failsafe vendor reputation from all sources. For each piece of armor equipped with this perk, this bonus increases to a maximum of three. Now, actually, I could actually uh, keep this one because this one has it and this one has it, but this one didn't actually have it. I thought it did. So, I guess what I'll have to do is just upgrade it as many times as I can for now. Once it's actually fully upgraded, then I'll just replace this helmet with this one. And replace it in all of these mods. Or loadouts. Uh, 
stasis um, void solar and strand but until then I'll just hold on to it until I can get it kind of completely upgraded right now I still need more uh, enchantment or enhancement prisms. Then I can add a discipline to it. Anyways, um, for now though. Safe research. Claim reward. Claim reward. Gear. Sightline survey. Faithkeeper. Time worn. Uh, Wayfarer. Those are weapons. I see, so armor pieces, I still haven't gotten the chest or the class item. I currently have the arms and legs equipped, and the head I will be equipping soon. Actually, the other way that I could do that is... Uh, if I actually get rid of Pathfinder's visor, it'll give me enough uh, materials to upgrade untethered edge hood all the way. I don't have it on Strand Siphon, I have it on Harmonic Siphon. And then I have this one on this. And that one on another one. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dismantle this one so that I can fully upgrade the other one. Let's see what it looks like first, because I can't remember. Ah. Uh, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. I want to keep this helmet, because I like this helmet a lot. Wrong one. So I'll have to naturally upgrade this one all on its own. Oh, okay. So that was an eight and a seven and an eight. So what is seven again? Is it prisms? Yes, enhancement prisms. Um, anyways, back to I'm really close on a lot of things. Sword damage, sidearm damage. Oh, I still need to go back to the helm. Ugh. 
Anyways, that particular helmet, uh, the Pathfinder's visor, I really like. I really, really like. Um, and I have it for all three of my characters. I wonder if those echoes, if I need to complete that for all three characters, or just the one completes it, and I don't have to worry about it. I'll check that out next. Too close. Failed threat, kinetic weapon. Your first specimen. I siphoned the radial area from a bunch of core samples and stuck them in this as like a uh, representative uh, research instrument fabricated. Primary echo engram focusing. <laughs> Focus echo engrams into weapons and armor to at failsafe in the helm. Their conflict of extermination is producing new mineral structures I can utilize to enhance your equipment. Organic specimen. Oh, and I got another one of these. Seasonal engram decoding. Untethered edge probes. There we got the helmet and the. Oh, so I can do that. Research phase. So I got that one. Then under journey, go to seasonal challenges, go to week two, and I completed research and development one, now I gotta go to, wait, under journey still. Rank in progress. So that completes that one. Complete the final shape, your shape campaign. Increase your vendor reputation with your ghost in the pale heart. And uh, the final shape cooperation focus campaign. Complete missions in the final shape campaign on cooperative mo uh, focus mode. What is cooperative focus mode? What was that? Oh. I got another person. Ten panda score four hundred and five thousand six hundred and fifty four just followed. Oh. Google like noob sex just followed. Oh, I got another one. Well, thank you guys for following. One K viewers? Bought one K viewers? No, no I didn't. Uh it says I'm at a thousand twelve actually. Right now. But anyways, um
composite radio light. Well, that gave me a whole bunch of stuff. So I already have these actually, or this already. Uh, I don't care for it. It helps out your blink or it improves your blink, but. I, like I said, I, I really don't care for it. So, I'll be getting rid of that. 5147. The total stat, though, is lower, though. This one's a 69, and that one's only a 49. It's also only a 2 energy. So, we'll get rid of that one. And I'm going to get rid of this one anyways, because I already have it, and I don't like it. I already have that one equipped, but 49. And 53. I could actually use that on that one if I... Oh, same. Exact same. And we got Faith Keeper, the rocket launcher. Oh no, we got a uh, Veiled Threat, the auto rifle. Does stasis damage. Anywho. Oh, what else did I need? Oh, okay. Two hundred grams of radiolite samples at the research bay aboard the helm. Oh, so that's what I was trying to do for the season's pass. In the store, I got an Eververse Ingram, which gave me another ghost shell. So I'll go and dismantle that because I'm not going to want to keep it. Alrighty, let's see, what time is it? Nah, uh, it's getting close to 8. Holy crud. Well, <sighs> um, can't currently do that one. Or that one. I could continue the final shape, but I don't have. Uh, I'm trying to do that with Cindy. Uh, stasis prototype. With uh, rendezvous with spiders associated with the concealed void lost sector. Skiff codes acquired. Uh, Drifter contacts you to let you know spiders sending and associate uh, to meet with you. Uh, she has some tech that will disguise your ship to appear on radar as a skiff, letting you sneak into a back area of the city. Uh, she's waiting for you in the lost sector. I guess we could go do that. Oh, this was the one. That I had been working on, I think. Oh, that one's gonna be hard. Complete all encounters of the last wish on raid in the or the last wish raid pattern progress collected. Hmm. Well, I'm actually going to get off here right now because this is 
This is where I think I want to leave it for now. Uh, so, if you're watching this on YouTube, you know the drill. Make sure to give me a nice big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and as always, ding the bell icon to get notified every time I come out with another video. I will come out with them as often as possible, or at least I'm trying to. Also, check out the description if you want to go to the other channel, the Anime Unboxing Club. Check out the description for uh, Cindy's books. Um, they're on Amazon. Uh, the first one's on Audible and iTunes also. Uh, check out the description if you want to... Oh, let's see. What else do I got down there? Um, check out the description if you want to go all, all to, my, or to all of my social media accounts. Facebook, Instagram, X, Twitch, and TikTok. They're all going to be down there. Um, yeah. Laters.